Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Want to answer one of those questions of life, and we're going to get our answer from the Bible. And the question is, is history headed somewhere? That is our question. Now, like everything else in this life, there will come a time when what we consider history will end. There is an ultimate end that we are all going for. There, there is. And we refer to this end time, what's going to happen at the end, we refer to this as the day of the Lord or the day of judgment. When Jesus will return, judgment will occur. And that is the time we're heading for. It's an ultimate destination for all of us, whether we believe or not. If we look at 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 10 through 13, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness? looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Now at this time, which you can read about in Revelation, all God's plans will come to fruition. This, this time, this the end of time, that uh, day of judgment. Jesus will complete God's plan of judgment of all people. We will be rewarded according to our belief in Christ as our King and by our deeds in life. If we look at Revelation chapter 20, verses 11 through 15, this talks about the judgment. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works, by the things which were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one according to his works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, salvation comes from belief and faith in the Lord. That's how you get your name in the book of life. When you come to believe in the Lord and you are baptized, remember we're following Jesus' example. Remember that Jesus was baptized so that all righteousness could be fulfilled. If we're following Christ, if we're Christians, we need to be baptized to fulfill all righteousness because that's what he tells us to do, honestly. If you look in Mark, I think it's sixteen, sixteen, there towards the end of uh, Mark's gospel, you will see it. Also, I think you can see it at the end of Matthew's gospel that we are supposed to be baptized. That's what we're supposed to do. And then we're supposed to baptize others. I want to make sure you know that because salvation is very important because you'll notice what we just read is if you're not in the book of life, that's, that's the second death. That's the lake of fire. That's not where you want to be. Our ultimate end, there's two choices. There's that end, and then there's going to be a better end that I want to tell you about. Then our works are actually a product of our salvation and faith. Remember, we can't really be saved by our works, but rather our works are produced by our salvation and faith. Once we're saved by the Lord, we gradually change. We gradually become more and more like the Lord, and we do more of those good works. 
not for salvation, but because we are saved, because we have salvation. So, just remember, we are not saved by works, but as we grow and change in the Lord, our works are a testimony of our salvation and of God's love and mercy. But even this judgment is not the end for those who are in the book of life. We are going beyond this life and this history. We look at Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 through 4. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Death is not the only end in sight. Death is really just the end of this life. Then there's a path you can take. Choose the path that will take you to the new heaven and the new earth and the new Jerusalem. There we will dwell with the Lord, and history will not end for us. It will continue on. So I want to thank you for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.